Now, without further ado, I am honoured to welcome our first speaker to the stage, Lennox Lai, who is Managing Director at OKX, and he's going to be discussing achieving transparency in crypto through technology. A big round of applause for Lennox. Okay, um, so welcome everybody. So my name is Nanix. I'm the managing director of OKX. Um, it's uh, been like three years that I back to London, like pre-COVID time. Three years back, uh, pre-COVID time, uh, I still attending another crypto conference. Uh, I remember back then we were discussing about a um, tokenization. Yeah. Everything can be tokenized. We're discussing DeFi. DeFi be eating the world, right? Everyone we're adopting DeFi. Institutional adoption. Uh, institutional, fine, institutional, we gradually adopt to DeFi crypto. Um, so uh, we are, and, and uh, three years back, uh, we, are, we are also uh, the beginning of NFT as well. So after three years, what have we achieved so far? I mean, the industry so far, right? So um, OKX as well. So we are thinking about this all the time. Uh, what is the position for us, for the industry, and as well as uh, OKX? OKX be began like five years or six years before. Right now, it's the second big exchanges. We begin in a very small dream. I was uh, back then, like six years ago, I was working as a trader, JP Morgan very boring job. So uh, I would, uh, I'm thinking about one day that whether or not uh, we're spending so much time into uh, bringing people to banking, finance, but it's not been so successful so, for so many years. Then we are, uh, when we begin the company, like, we're so fascinating by one piece of technologies called blockchain. Let's echo the logo today. Uh, it's a Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the very, 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 very first application of blockchain. Uh, the, Im the implication of blockchain plus Bitcoin to us, like six years back, is, hey, this is a new financial ecosystem. This is a completely new thing for humanity. This might be potentially solving uh, the very core problem like financial inclusions, like for six billion people, probably the best technologies and cheapest technology to achieve that. So there's the, very, the very small dream of the cakes back then is, why don't we bring the financial ecosystem that works so well in traffic back to crypto? That's, uh, that's, what, that's, that's what we work. We build an exchange, we we'll are we'll replicate some of the financial financial instruments, are uh, and some of the methodology in economy, derivative theory, option pricing theory, creating our very own financial instruments, uh, futures, derivatives, option, perpetual swap, spot trading, margin trading, everything that works so well in trap fund, trying to make it as underlying in crypto and Bitcoin. Um, that's a very small dream. And right now it work and everyone. And, and, and right now crypto become a uh, kind of like a trillion dollar uh, industry, billion dollar trade every single day across all exchanges for several reasons, right? Uh, obviously we got a, a, a large group of industry participants, exchange OTC desk, institutional that work so well together, bringing liquidity uh, for crypto and uh, there's so many different kinds of financial instruments that work so well uh, over years, uh, building different kind of component, risk component, counterparty, and also custodian. Uh, everything that works so well in Trafine that gradually migrate the similar concept to crypto. Um, but last year, the industry got a hit. Um, we worked so well in, in three years. So last year, uh, we got a, the industry do got a hit. 
uh, starting from noon incident to three arrow, different kind of, and, 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 and most recently, FTX incident that uh, literally uh, destroyed a lot of our counterparty, a lot of industry players. That also undermining uh, the trust of the industry. And also, um, at the size of a, a, lot of, a lot of exchanges, like KX also uh, needs to be uh, scrutinized and need to be answered for a lot of requests uh, for the regulators, for my users, and for government as well. Uh, but actually, we like the development. So every time uh, Bitcoin or the industry have been battle tested for so many times, if you took a really longer, longer duration, uh, multiple exchange got hacked, uh, uh, and uh, uh, multiple regulatory, uh, regulatory pressure from different jurisdictions. But every time when the industry got hit, we grow even bigger and stronger. Um, so for the one key thing that's today that I really want to emphasize is Maybe it's a really good time for us uh, to, to think about how to take the industry, I mean the crypto industry as a whole, to take it further. It's a, it was a bad time. It's a bearish, it's a bearish market. Uh, industry got has a lot of people questioning this industry, no trust. Uh, but I think it is the best time right now to rethink what would be the next step for the industry based on the past experience, right? Uh, the very first, if you remember, the very first Bitcoin futures, less on CME, come right after that Bitcoin crash from 11 times, first starting in, in 2017. And now, two thirds of our volume in crypto trade in terms of derivatives even maybe even more in some time. So if you think today, right now, it's the best time for us to build the next generation, the next era for crypto, for the industry, what would be the one thing that we shall equally or achieve? So I think that would be, to our perspective, is transparency, uh, at least to the exchange perspective. Uh, crypto, is built based on the notion of uh, decentralization, permissionless. But when industry grow over time, we still need to interact with different kind of counterparty. Uh, exchange is one of the counterparty. Your client, your fund, crypto fund is one of the counterparty. Everyone demand transparency to each other. So if we want to replicate the traffic idea to, on achieving transparency, we need to employ, uh, we shall employ auditor, external audits, uh, different level of uh, accounting principle and standard to be applied on, in, on our un very unique nature of the industry. We need to explain our very unique nature of value, those kind of tokens, or how we, we constellate different kind of balance. If we want to achieve similar level on transparency, uh, on OKX, we are thinking, sure, on, we will do that. We, tr we will explain how we achieve transparency through traffic related standards and practice and guidelines. And, but what, what we so what even we are more interesting would be whether or not we can scale our efforts by technology. Uh, we, that we, we just want to tell the user that's, hey, you got some money here. It's fully transparent. But how shall we achieve through pure technological methods rather than using waiting for someone else to taking a look of our snapshot of balance and while auditing report? Whether or not we can achieve, uh, a, whether or not we can build a scalable technology for everyone, for every industry, for every user to verify their balance at real time at all time, and you have the confidence and trust and transparency at all time. And that might be feasible because the industry, entire industry built on a public ledger and blockchain. 
So, uh, so that's how we begin our, 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 how, how we begin our transparency effort. So uh, I would like to introduce a very simple concept. Uh, I'm sorry, this is slide on, oh, right over there. So uh, an exchange aside for doing, uh, exchange is basically working in the liability model like bank. Uh, so uh, we, we need to prove our liability. The way that we prove uh, that our reserve is always one-to-one -one back by the user, by, by, the, by the acts of the user is actually quite simple. It's just basically to prove the acts acts is bigger than the liability, the liability which is considered as user deposits. Um, so it's make it as one to one. So uh, the proof of reserve means instead of asking somebody else to take a look of our accounting balance, is, is we are trying to do it in a cryptographic method. Uh, and making sure and disclose everything in terms of exchange reserve and our user balance uh, and, uh, and, and, and basically trying to match with the balances on chain wallet. Um, so uh, why that is so very important right now is after uh, people might think that after the ethnic debacle, people demand more transparency, demand uh, more, quite more answer that's how exchange, how ordinary exchange that's make use of user fund, right? So uh, the one way to do that is to allow our users, uh, instead of waiting for auditor, obviously, allow our users to verify the deposit, the crypto that you deposit, the Ethereum that you deposit on the exchange is verified on blockchain. That's called a very jargon called the Marco tree. Marco tree is basically the structure designed for encrypted data. Uh, and uh, securely and, and trying to and help you to with these single strings of the data have to help you to verify the exchange balance. Um, so on OKX right now is uh, we create um, we are we first we obviously disclose our wallet addresses on chain addresses. We also have a unified web page allow all the user to have a just a very simple button to click and verify the macro trees and leaves so that you can making sure, you can 100% sure, based on cryptographic method, that the deposit that you right now, uh, sitting on exchange right now, is, belongs to you in terms of verify the, what we call verify the ownerships uh, of, their, of, of, your, of, your, of your deposits. Um, so, um, yeah, the, 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 the way that we're doing is that let's quickly is um, we snapshot the exchange user balance, generate market tree, and also uh, uh, checking everything and allowing user to download and verify the data. But that is a, um, um, that is a, that, that is a, that's a standard practice. So what I'm trying to say here is, uh, before we got two minutes left, is, we are at this at, at this certain size today. We are having six point six point six of billions around has of access of user deposits has been successfully verified uh, via cryptographical method. Think about your bank balance. Think about if we are bank, would you able to allow you if a bank to allow you check and verify that how much capital or exact capital that I'm um, securely in store in certain kind of bank, bank reserve, or, or backed by a treasury bill of gold. In crypto industry, we, not just us, a lot, a lot of exchanges, manage to achieve that at an individual user level, uh, you can verify every single deposit that's really set uh, in the exchange wallets. Uh, that's what it matter is, how could we take it further, right? What would be the next step for us to and substantially enhance that our transparency and our auditing through pure technological method? The next step that we're gonna introduce is we will achieve our POR version 
where if the technology calls a zero knowledge proof. Uh, the zero knowledge proof meaning that uh, we're basically like uh, disclosing the individual user balance, but at the same time without disclosing uh, the identity of the users, um, based on obviously um, uh, thanks to the technology of zero knowledge proof. Um, so without need of disclosing user identity, we can 100% open source for everyone to verify that user liabilities is always one-to-one -one match with the exchange uh, reserve. I think that would be one of the biggest use cases of the zero knowledge proof for, 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 for crypto exchanges. Yeah, to, I think to wrap up would be, this industry is right now at this current stages. If we, if we want to take it in the first step and take it into the under level, um, everyone needs to play a part. Um, and the, an exchange uh, is actually the in, as the centric of liquidity and the centric of information, user information, depository information, and also uh, uh, our, our one of the very important counterparty for all kind of uh, crypto assets. Well, so we need to take a take the very first step, as in, hey, uh, we got. We got a substantial, um, substantially increase on transparency and answer the call for the, regu for the regulators. We're going to be uh, welcoming and embracing uh, regulation to work with multiple regulators globally, uh, and also the regulator and many, many jurisdiction right now starting to understand a lot compared to three, three years ago, starting to understand a lot on this industry. So. Uh, so why do we say it's the best time? Because after I'm, I foresee maybe taking 12 months time, right? A lot of our counterparty, including exchanges, would be a lot more safe and transparent in terms of the governance and management, the exchange reserve, and also the wallet balance. At the same time, the regulators get, we got a lot more clarity. Uh, with this very fun, two big, several basic fundamental ingredients, I think uh, we will starting to uh, see a real adoption uh, from institutional, from government, and also a massive adoption from traditional company. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy London. Thank you. That was a fantastic way to kick off our conference. Thank you so much to Lennox Live from OKX.